first problem is that a charge is just a charge. A charge is based on probable cause. Probable cause does not mean even more likely than not. The definition of probable cause is sort of ephemeral, but it doesn't mean that a crime is more likely than not to have occurred. What's the, so that's problem number one. Um, problem number two, while um, we've raised the question of a threat, if you look at the bill, preventive detention can occur here on a misdemeanor. Um, the, the 508, 510, both chapters have, while they have very serious crimes, first degree assault, second degree assault, rape, sodomy, and so forth, it also has some misdemeanor offenses in there that are not so serious. Fourth degree assault, menacing, harassment, um, sex, sex abuse third, uh, sexual misconduct are not serious crimes, and yet under this statute, a 12 hour hold could, could occur. <clears throat> third problem, this, the amendment reads, if the judge finds the person to be a threat, not a serious threat, not an imminent threat, but a threat, statute takes away his discretion. It says he shall not be released. So it does inhibit the discretion of, a, of the judge. Problem number four, there is no process here. Uh, the defendant cannot be heard. The defendant cannot be heard by counsel. There's no hearing.